my God, but you are my creator. You are the reason of, who, who, of what I am or who I am. Bwana Yesu asifiye. Hallelujah. Endelea kuongea Bwana, endelea kuongea Bwana. Open your open your heart, open your mind, speak unto the Lord, worship the Lord with your words. You can never lack something to tell the Lord. That amekuwa mwema kwa maisha yako, amekuwa mwema kwa ajili hata ya familia yako, amekuwa mwema kwako. Tell God something. Tell God that he deserves all the glory and honor today. Tell God that him alone deserve to be worshiped, to be exalted, him alone. Hallelujah. We bless you Jehovah. We give you all the glory, oh Lord, for who you are. We exalt you, my Father. For this morning, my Father, you have called us, oh God, to come in this place to worship you. Father, just to thank you, oh Lord. We give you glory and honor, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hachilia kile kilio chandani itoke inje mwambie Mungu igeuze kwe wimbo igeuze kwe maabudu mbele zake Mungu mwambie Mungu nimejiachilia mbele zako have your way lord have your way have your way lord in my life take preeminence oh lord in my life god hallelujah Te-te-te. i'm no longer For I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Oh, for I am a child of God. No, no. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Oh. Sing it together with us. I'm no longer, I'm no longer slave to fear, for I am, I am a child of God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Na na. I've got no oh, oh, no longer slave to fear for I am for I am a child of God I'm no I'm no oh, I'm no longer slave to fear for I
Meritenda Mema Worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. you have done in me well. Yeah, yeah. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. There is no other God like you, Lord. No other God. No other God. You have done me well, Lord. I will always have 
forget oh my father to pray i will never forget to call upon you jesus i will never forget to worship you i will never forget my father to exalt your name oh for who you are yahweh for who you are jehovah you are beyond of who oh my father my problems you are beyond of all that comes my way you are beyond of my situation you are beyond oh god of all that my father can come my way I will never forget you, Jesus. I will never forget you, O oh Lord. I will never forget you, Father. I will continue to worship you. I will continue to serve you, Jesus. I will continue, oh my God. Oh Jehovah. Oh my Father. Somebody make that your prayer this morning. Make that be your prayer this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shall never forget you, Lord. We shall never forget you. For you are good and for you have done all oh, much in our life father oh father in spite of it all my father god you still be god you still our father you still our god oh lord we worship you we worship you father we worship you we give you all the glory oh jehovah we give you all the glory we give you all the glory In all my days, in every situation, you've never failed. I will not forget all my days, every situation, you've never failed. I will not forget you. I will not forget. never forget where you've taken me, oh Lord. We never forget your goodness, Lord. Never forget you, Lord. I will not forget you, Lord. We will never forget you, Lord. The fire you have brought me, Lord. I will never forget you, Lord. Call me out of sin, Lord. You wash me with your blood, Lord. Choose me to be your people, Lord. How can I forget you, Lord? How can I forget you, Lord? How can I forget you, Lord? I will not forget you, Lord. Forget you, oh, oh. Every situation. Every situation. 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands up. Just lift your hands and give him all the glory. Lift those your hands and give him all the glory. Praise the Lord. Before you stop clapping, let's clap for our mom. Isn't she looking beautiful? Mtuangie makofi pia ya iyo. Amen. Uh, we thank God for this day. Uh, he is good. He is wonderful. He is great. He is awesome. Bwana uh, asifiwe. I also thank God for you for having braved the cold. How is it? Is it cold? Cold enough? <laughs> it is warm. Praise the Lord. Okay, for me, you know me where I came from. It's hot. It's, it's hotter than this. So, nikiwa hapa ni na freeze. I'm wondering even in my, in my feet, nasikia baridi. Praise the Lord. But the Lord is good. We thank God for the way he's led us since morning. Uh, our mama started off the, the service by uh, reading a scripture that was <coughs> saying that God is willing to build us. Praise the Lord. And also he's going to rebuild us. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, during the praise and worship, we, we were told that kuna uh, anxiety. There are some disappointments. Praise the Lord. I don't know if you're there and you're disappointed. In a reason or another. Maybe not because of these elections. <laughs> praise the Lord. Do not be disappointed. Hallelujah. If you dwell in the Lord, he will somehow, some way, just help you to understand the way things are supposed to go. Hallelujah. And therefore, you're not going to be disappointed or anything like that. Um, in the teaching I had uh, about, I came in, I was with the young, the, the youth up there, and I had, there was, uh, the teaching was about waiting upon the Lord. Buana Asifiwe. And, uh, <clears throat> Coincidentally, it's the same thing we were talking about with the, with the youth up there, All right? And I was telling them that waiting is not an event, praise the Lord. Waiting is, is a skill. You need to be skilled in waiting, praise the Lord. It is almost like a science, bonus if you Yes, you don't just say, I'm waiting, All right? Uh, and I was asking them, if you're waiting, who are you waiting for? Praise the Lord, All Right? You could be waiting for someone and he passes by you. And you continue waiting. So who are we, who, do you know who you're waiting for? Praise the Lord. You are waiting. Where are you waiting at? Buana Sifiwe. Alright? You could be waiting for someone here. Na hey, don't home juni kuba hea hey, mepitia upande mungine. Praise the Lord. Will you find that person? Hallelujah. So waiting is a skill and it is something that God needs to help us. Hallelujah. So uh, what we'll talk about is in line with the, the waiting, is in line with what is going on uh, in this nation, within the church. I've realized there are so many brethren that are disappointed in the elections. <laughs> so many. Even the other side where I was, so many are. Praise the Lord. May God help us. All right? May God strengthen us that we move on. All right? Let his will be done. Upon our lives. My name is Cleophas uh, I'm grateful for an opportunity to always stand before you. Hallelujah. Not because I have so much. Not because I have qualified for anything. You know, uh, Mama was speaking about the Apostle Joshua Selman. And I've been following him. And he speaks until you ask yourself, Wewe, ninini unajua? Praise the Lord. What do you know? Praise the Lord. So he's really a gifted, anointed man of God. Hallelujah. So I'm here. I don't know so much. But the little that I know, I'm praying. The little that I know, I'm praying that God will help me to bring to you so that we can be able to move together. Hallelujah. 
So this morning, the Lord was uh, speaking to me about renewal. Praise the Lord. Renewal. Yesterday, I had prepared this message with some different title. Then this morning, God is giving me a different name. So, but the way the service has gone, it looks like we need a renewal. Tell your neighbor, you need a renewal. Tell another one, you need a renewal. And it is a renewal of your mind, a renewal of your soul. It is a renewal of your spirit. Just a complete renewal. Praise the Lord. You know, when you are disappointed, sometimes you'd like the, the courage and the confidence to move on. Hallelujah. You'd even uh, not be able to tell someone, uh, yes, I voted and I'm happy. Because you don't want to tell people you voted for someone who lost. Praise the Lord. So, you'll not say anything. Hallelujah. But when you are renewed, you're able to move ahead. You're able to, to carry on. Hallelujah. So, uh, what is a renewal? Uh, I was looking at the meaning of it, and there's a word in Greek called ananio, uh, which means to be renovated by an inward reformation. Praise the Lord. To be renovated by an inward reformation. So renewal is not physical. If it transforms to the physical, then it needs to start in there. Uh, inner part of that being that needs an, a renewal. Hallelujah. You cannot be renewed outward when your inside is not renewed. Buona sefer. Yes. And in Hebrew, it means a separation unto the Lord. It also means to tie yourself to the Lord and let your weaknesses be exchanged for strength. Hallelujah. We've been praying that God may give us strength through in the intercession, even through the, uh, the teaching. And uh, now that reminds me, there's a scripture we have read with the, with the youth up there. Uh, Isaiah 40. It was not part of what I had wanted to read, but let me just read it. Because it, it lends to the message of the day. 40.28. Maybe you can start with the 27. These are questions that many people will be going through, will be asking themselves. When you renew, need a renewal, when you need to be built, when you need to be rebuilt, it means there is a situation that you are not happy with. There is a circumstances that is disturbing you. Hallelujah. There are things that are not going the way you have planned. All right? And so you are wondering, what next? Will they eventually happen the way I want? Praise the Lord. So, um, why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Praise the Lord. So, you could be saying, how come? The way I thought, the way I planned, has not happened. Praise the Lord. Now, verse 28. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not. Praise the Lord. You can whisper that to your neighbor. The Lord fainteth not. Did you whisper to your neighbor that? The Lord does what? Fainteth not. So, if you're looking unto the Lord, don't faint. Because the Lord does not faint. Neither is weary. Are you weary? Have you gone through thoughts, imaginations, and they have bogged you down? You have become weary. The Lord is not weary. 
Bwana asifiwe. So if you find yourself moving towards the direction being weary, look unto the Lord. Then he's able to renew you. He's able to restore you. Praise the Lord. Regardless of what is going on, regardless of if your candidate won or lost, regardless of that job that you're waiting for, you have been called for the interview or not, praise the Lord. Regardless of that gifting that you're waiting for, has arrived or has not arrived, do not grow weary. Hallelujah. Amen. And there is no searching of his understanding. You cannot be able to search the understanding of God and come to a conclusion and say, I, now, my, God is hidden from my ways. Praise the Lord. God is omnipotent. He's omniscient. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the creator of heaven and earth. He's, he's, he's so many things. Praise the Lord. Uh, so, 29. He gives power to the faint. Of late, have you become faint? Because of the circumstances in your life, have you become faint? Are you almost giving up? Are you lacking the strength to move on? To make that extra step? To utter that extra prayer? Praise the Lord. To sing that extra praise song. To worship the Lord an extra day. Praise the Lord. The Lord gives power to the faint. And to them who have no might, he increases strength. So today, I would want to encourage us. Rise in the power of the Lord. We were being taught the other day by our sister Lona. Stand in the might of the Lord and put on the full armor of the Lord. Praise the Lord. That you may be able to fight. Praise the Lord. So, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. You know, the youths and the young men are considered the, the strong people around. Right? But with weariness, it is very possible to begin fainting. To begin losing direction. One has a few. With the disappointments, things not working the way they have expected. It is very easy to begin fainting and being weary. One has a few. But they who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Praise the Lord. And that is why we are talking about renewal. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. So, um, renewal, uh, according to the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. You need to change the way your mindset. Change your mindset. The way you have been thinking, operating, moving, sitting, change them. Then you'll be able to find a renewal. Praise the Lord. You cannot be renewed when you keep operating in the mindset that you have been having. When you are almost growing, growing weary. When you are fainting, you continue with that mindset. There shall be no renewal. So, the Bible says, Romans 12, 2, and be not conformed to this world. Any conformation to this world will bring about weariness and fainting and disappointment. Praise the Lord. You can be sure of that. If you conform to the patterns of this world, you will faint. You will grow weary. One as if you But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, whatever you have been going through the past week or two, your life has been going down. Your expectations are going down. Praise the Lord. Manage your expectations. Sometimes you need to manage your expectations. 
Hallelujah. Yes, what you are expecting is not happening the way you wanted. Begin to manage, to manage it. So renew your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. When I see fear. So there is this aspect, the will of God. What is the will of God? Sometimes we confuse our will and think it is the will of God. When I see fear. You say, but God, I wanted it this way. Praise the Lord. What is the will of God? In this, in this election that we have had, what is the will of God? Have you ever asked yourself what is the will of God? When I see fear. In the way we are standing as a nation, what is the will of God? Hallelujah. So I, I tried to, to, to search the meaning of will of God and I was given another term that is as difficult as, as looking for the will of God. It was saying that the omnipotence of a divine being. So the will of God means the omnipotence of a divine being. So choose between those two terms which one you'd want to, to live with. Just knowing the will of God or trying to look for the omnipotence of a divine being. The will of God is a mystery. Praise the Lord. It is mysterious. Sometimes you would think you know it, but you don't. You don't know it. Praise the Lord. Let's look at Ephesians 1.5. Sometimes you think you have really got it. Kumbe, you have missed it. the scripture I wanted is, is, is not that. But we'll be able to get it. So the will of God is a mystery. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you need to be very close to God to be able to know what is it. What is it? Sorry? 1-5. Ephesians 1-5. by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Uh, there is uh, something that was telling me that it's a mystery. This does not talk about the mystery of the will of God, but it is okay. So, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. So, um, and, and, and Ephesians 5.15 5.15 it actually, It's actually 17, but 15 says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, so, for you to be able to, to discern the will of God, uh, you will need to be very wise. Praise the Lord. Because you see the issue of being unwise and being a fool here is really mentioned. If you are a fool and unwise, it will be difficult for you to know the will of, the will of God. So, verse 17. Huh? Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. There is a, a scripture that says that do not be foolish, but understand what the will of God is. So it's important that every time, whatever you do, you know what is the will of God. One as if you are. In every circumstance, every scenario, you know what is the will of God. Otherwise, you will be foolish. You will be unwise. Praise the Lord. And as children of God, we have been given wisdom to be able to know 
the will of God. Hallelujah. So, um, why renewal? King David said in Psalms that you anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. So if there is no renewal, your anointing will run dry. Praise the Lord. You will experience dryness in your life. And it will end up being depleted. Because as you consume it, it decreases. So you need constant renewal of your mind of your soul, of your spirit, so that you remain at the level that the Lord has desired you to be. Otherwise, without that constant renewal, you begin uh, thinking and talking like the world is. You be be begin to become unwise. You begin to become foolish because you do not know what the will of the Lord is. Hallelujah. So only renewal will ensure there is an overflow. All right? That scripture says, you anoint my head with oil. It is not something that happened once. It is a continuous tense. It keeps happening. Are you always anointed with oil? In your ministry, are you always anointed with oil? Or it was once. Na ikakwama. Na ukatumia yote ikaisha. Now you are dry. An effective servant of the Lord should always desire that anointing. Because it will keep renewing the spirit of the Lord upon their life. The power of the Lord upon their life. The word of God upon their lives. When I see fear. So there will be no growing weary. There will be no fainting. Right? You will not uta choka kungoja bona asifiwe. You can wait for as long as the Lord tarries. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, so, um, in Titus 3.5, we learn that the Spirit of the Lord is able to renew. It says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done. But according to his mercy, he saved us. By the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. So there is a washing of regeneration. Generation is to, is to produce again. Praise the Lord. Maybe something has lost its power has lost its ability, then the Lord is able to regenerate that thing. He's able to renew it. He's able to restore it. Praise the Lord. Mama has been talking about revival. He's able to revive and bring it back to a situation that it was or even a much better position. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, uh, in, in, in Isaiah we read about an eagle. An eagle is able to live for about 40 years or more, depending on the choices that it will make at the 40th year. When I see you. It, if it chooses to renew itself, to regenerate itself, it will live for another 30 years or so. But if it is afraid, it grows weary and faints, it will die at that age of, of 40. And that is why Isaiah used the, the revelation of an eagle. Praise the Lord. It is says that when an eagle reaches 40 years old, it's big is weary. And 
it began, begins to bend. So it cannot do its role. Wana sifiwe. Kitaka kukula chakula, instead of tearing, it is just bouncing on the food. So it cannot even be able to feed itself. Praise the Lord. At 40, its talons, the sharp nails that are supposed to tear the prey apart, they lose strength and it cannot use them to grab its prey tightly. So ikishika, nakuwa lose the prey, runs away, inapotea. So with those two features or organs, it cannot feed itself by the mouth, it cannot hold the prey. What will happen? It will die. Even the wings, at that time, they have worn out and now they have stuck to the body of the eagle. So they cannot flap. They cannot do their role. So even flying, it cannot be able to, to fly. And the designation of an eagle, the purpose of an eagle, it is supposed to fly high and see its prey and be able to dive at neck break speed and grasp the prey and rise up again with that, that, that prey. Praise the Lord. At that time, even the eyes have begun to become cloudy. It cannot be able to see clearly. So at this juncture, the eagle can choose to die peacefully or to go through a five-month painful high mountain process of regeneration and renewal. Renewal is not easy. Renewal is not a happy experience. Praise the Lord. Renewal is not a place where you go and there is joy and dancing. Praise the Lord. There is some pain that will come with it. There is some disappointment that will come with it. There is some frustration that will come with it. Praise the Lord. So at this point, the eagle decides whether to go through that process or to die peacefully. So for it to begin that process, it begins by knocking its beak on a tree stump continuously until that beak falls off. When I see you. You can imagine how painful that process is. Now, when that beak falls off, a new beak grows. Hallelujah. So the new beak will not grow until when that old beak has fallen off. It begins to pluck out its old withered feathers. It plucks them out. Now with a new beak. Right? Remember the old beak that could not be able to even hold anything is off. There's a new beak. Now it begins to pluck all those old withered stuck feathers from its body. And once it plucks them out, new feathers grow. Its talons fall off and new ones grow afresh. Praise the Lord. So for us to uh, experience a renewal, we need to do away with our old habits. The way we were thinking, the way we were looking at things, praise the Lord. The way you have been praying, we have been told there is a revival. The, the servant of God came to confirm that there is a the revival. Begin to position yourself. The apostle was saying the revival will bring about three kinds of people. One is a, the prophetic intercessors. Begin to find your place. Prophetic intercessor. Do not just make intercession, but intercede prophetically. Intercede in, by prophesying things. Praise the Lord. Now, 
Another category of people will be the sent ones. And he was saying the sent ones is this category of people that he was saying, now I send you a sheep among the wolf. Praise the Lord. And you know, uh, we have been saying that a wolf is a bad thing. But for you to evangelize, how can sheep go to the wolf? It needs to look like a wolf. Praise the Lord. How can you evangelize? For example, to drunkards. Without going to the bar where they drink. So you need to look like a wolf. Your outward experience is a wolf, but your inward, inward spirit is a, is a sheep. So that you reach there, then you begin to minister unto them. You begin to tell them the word of the Lord. He was saying these are the category of people that shall rise as technocrats, CEOs, managers, ambassadors. So that in that co-office that you're in, you open the door for the Lord to come in. Hallelujah. Not that now, after revival, you see that the spirit of the Lord is, has come upon you. Now you decide to resign from your position and say, now I want to open a church. You'll be frustrated in that church. Hallelujah. The sent ones. You need to capture the wisdom of the Egyptians. The wisdom of the business world. The wisdom of the political world. And we thank God for our elder here. We are praying that you will go there. Praise the Lord. So that you become our sent one. Hallelujah. So that when they sit and discuss about closing the church, you say, my friend, there is something you are missing. Do you know I'm an elder of the church? How do you close the church? And I'm an elder of the same church. One as if you but if you talk about closing the church and there is no one uh, who has a position in church, how long will that bill take? How long? It will be passed in an instant. Sindio? So the sent ones are a critical category of the church. And the church has operated for long without the sent ones. One as if you. So we have prophetic intercessors. They intercede, they pray, they do all that. But when it comes to policy making, there is no one there. So that those wolves say we are closing all the churches for two months. And it goes. Because there is no sheep among the wolf. And Christ was saying, you will need to be wise as serpents. Praise the Lord. So serpents represent, uh, the apostle was saying, that is a a, a prophetic terminology. It's a hidden, it's not a snake. Don't confuse. It's a hidden terminology that refers to some, some way, some, uh, some knowledge, some power, some dominion. Praise the Lord. So, as a church, we will need also brethren here to be out there picking these positions. We need someone in cabinet, we need someone in parliament, we need someone in the judiciary. So that when they uh, think about laws and policies that are not godly, you stand up and say no. All right? Hallelujah. So the story of the eagle. So we need to climb the Lord's mountain in prayer and fasting for us to receive a renewal. So after the eagle is renewed, it mounts up on wings again with renewed vigor, with renewed strength, and it is able to feed itself. It is able to conquer the air once again. So is the servant of the Lord that is weary, that is faint. You need to re renew yourself. It is not going to be an easy thing. Right? But be ready because renewal will be able to give you more strength. Hallelujah. 